morning, Mrs. Michaels. I'm glad to see you're not dead. Do you have any idea who I am? Let's just say that I used to be in business with your husband. Kinda. I would do the work and then he would take the money. And then because of him, I lost the rest of my money. The whole time he just kept smiling and patting me on the head. I don't, uh, I don't blame him completely. I was a bit naive, but he is a pro. And trust me, I'm not the first person to screw over you. Considering the long trail of broke and pissed off people that your husband's left behind him, I was surprised as hell when I found out no one had ever tried to kidnap you. <laughs> Proof of life. That husband of yours asked for proof of life. Do you believe that shit? <laughs> Not for one second do I believe he actually gives a rat's ass about you. But that's okay. Thought something like that might happen, so I came prepared. <laughs> See you later, alligator. I'm gonna pull the gag out of your mouth. You need to relax. <coughs> Look, no one can hear you anyway, but if you start screaming, 
I'm gonna shove that gag back in your mouth. Make you watch as I pour that water into the dirt and I'm gonna leave you here again. You got me? The question is, do you think your husband should get away with destroying my life? What about the police or the FBI? Hey, you gotta be kidding me, right? Danny's money is so dirty he would never call the police, much less the FBI. The first thing he would do is start investigating him, and he does not want that. Uh, the next thing you know, the SEC and the IRS would be up his ass too. No. No, your husband's not gonna call the police. I'm already squeezing him for way more than he can possibly explain. You're lying! Wrong timing now! My husband didn't do anything to you! I didn't do anything to you! No. No, I, I don't suppose that you did anything. But you're a means to an end. You see, not only am I going to get my justice here, I'm going to get revenge. When your husband double-crossed me, I lost everything. When the money was gone, I lost the house. Then my wife took our kids to live with her sister. And then I got served with divorce papers. And let's just say, I didn't handle that nearly well. Now the judge says I can't see my kids anymore. So here you are, tied to a chair, inside of a train car, in the middle of nowhere, being held at gunpoint by a man who has nothing left to lose. Try showing me a little respect. Couldn't hold it, could you? You know, I suppose you'd be a lot more comfortable in that cot over there, but uh, <laughs> I'm trying real hard to be good right now. Even in your present condition, you're still sexy as hell. I'll find out anything that comes near me and spit it in your face. I said that I was trying to be good. Don't push it. You're gonna be on a liquid diet until the money comes through. Mostly because I don't want to deal with trying to feed you. That's all right though. You get a couple pounds of spare anyway. You are such a pain in my ass. If my husband is such a terrible person with no conscience and no remorse, what makes you think he'll pay you or that he even has the money that you're asking for? Open your eyes, dumbass. I'm not gonna shoot you. 
You don't understand. I've done my homework. Lots of homework. I know which closets have the skeletons. I know where all the bodies are buried. In other words, I know where Danny is hiding all of his dirty money. And I know how much of it there is. I even know about the ridiculous life insurance policy on you. Hell, I even know about Danny's affair. That is definitely not you, is it? You see, when you don't come back, there's going to be digging. Lots of digging. When a wife disappears, they always suspect the husband first. So, yeah, Danny's going to pay me my cash. I'll get my money. And I'll get my justice. You know, old Danny once told me that you can buy anything in this world with cash. Cars, houses, guns, drugs, women. First thing I'm going to do is buy myself a brand new Mexican driver's license. Thinking about calling myself Santos. Does that mean when you get your money you'll let me go? Oh, no. No. When you don't come back, the police are going to investigate Danny. They'll find the ransom money missing from your checking accounts. They'll find that insane life insurance policy. They'll find out about the affair. And then they'll keep digging. Eventually, they'll find your rotting corpse right here. It's going to look like a hit. The motive's right there. Nobody will ever believe that you were kidnapped because Danny never bothered to report it to the police. With any luck, not only will he go to jail for all the shady crap he's pulled on people over the years, he'll go down for your murder too. Danny will have lost his freedom, his money, and his family. And then, then I'll have my revenge. You know, you don't have to do this. Once you get your money, you can just go your separate way and leave us alone. No. No, you're wrong. I do have to do this. Anyway, I gotta go grab my cash now. You stay put, I'll be right back to deal with you. After a while, crocodile.